What is up guys and welcome back to another video, another what I eat in a day dinner edition. It's been a while since I made a what I eat in a day video and I haven't done that because I usually do pretty similar stuff all the time. But recently actually I've been browsing the internet to find some recipe inspirations because when I cook I want it quick, easy, healthy and preferably low carb. So I've been using different websites and the one I've been recently using the most is my food and family, mainly because they have a huge database and most of the recipes are super easy, don't need many ingredients and are quick. <laughs> So I was super stoked when they reached out and wanted to sponsor a video. So big shout out to my food and family for sponsoring my dinner video and showing you guys what I usually make for dinner. I'm excited for this. Nate is excited for this too because he'll eat some of that too. Yes, ma'am. Unfortunately. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> So what we will be doing today is what I make a lot of times, a recipe that Nate fell in love with as well. These are skirt lettuce cups with chimichurri. So it's pretty much <clears throat> a lettuce wrap or cup and a chimichurri which is like kind of Latin American pesto and meat. I usually make that with chicken just because I don't often buy meat, only when I buy meat I buy high quality. So I started making this with chicken, but today we are doing the original recipe with finest high quality skirt steak. Are you excited, babe? I'm very excited. All right, guys, so I will be showing you what I usually do in like about 10 minutes, <laughs> but I will be showing it to you, show you how easy it is. And yeah, that's why I've been like really on, on the website trying to get new ideas because Usually Nate and I just eat the same stuff, but I said, done with that, we need to step up our kitchen game. All right, so we have a, I think it's like 10 ingredients recipe for the lettuce cups. I don't know about you guys, but I love parsley and this will be the base of our chimichurri By the way, the website has a great section where they have cooking tips or preparation tips or serving tips or tips in general So the recipe I'm making is for four people. It equals eight lettuce cups and Usually Nate and I share those three and five. I eat three He eats five and I eat some broccoli rice I make as well on the side and dessert but we're focusing on the main today. So what we have here is five cups of parsley and it's ask for stems. Big tip, stems are very flavorful and my blender is very small. And always make sure to wash your herbs. Next up, two cloves of garlic. If you wanna peel garlic, just take the knife, put your thumb on it and press down and then you can easily just cut off the edge and the garlic pretty much peels itself. You see, it's peeled, goes in there too. We have two teaspoons of dried oregano, goes in here as well. And a, a little more than half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper, goes also in here. And then we have some, how would you call this? Worcester. Worcester? Yeah, uh, actually. Worcester? Oh my goodness. Worcestershire. I never know how to pronounce this. Worcestershire. Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce that we gonna add from Aaliyah and parents. By the way, it's funny, but I also got my mom on, into this website because the website has one great feature that my mom loves. It's the personal chef feature where you pretty much type in two or three ingredients that you have at hand or you wanna create something with. Or you can also add an ingredient that you don't want in your dish and then it spits out recipe suggestions with the ingredients that you typed in, which my mom loves because she usually calls me and asks, I have zucchini and some bacon and some beans. What do I make with this? So yeah, she's been really onto that too. All right, we add one tablespoon of the Worcestershire sauce. And we're having the zesty Italian dressing. That's one of my favorite dressings. I'm not using a lot of dressing, 
but this is this gives it just great flavor because it has it has actual oil in it and it's not fat free. It's just rich in flavor. But we're putting in a quarter of a cup for now. And then once the parsley is chopped, we're gonna add another quarter. And this is pretty much the base to our chimichurri. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's blending time. Now we're going to add the rest of the dressing and blend a little more. Once again, blending this. All right, we got our chimichurri and oh my God. It's amazing, <laughs> I love this so much. All right guys, I have a lot of stuff going on. Next step, by the way, I love chimichurri with steak. Oh, chimichurri is such a great sauce. We have the beautiful skirt steak. And what we're going to do, we're gonna carefully pierce it with a fork because we're gonna marinate that meat. So usually what I, when I make this dish, I pre prepare everything the evening before so it can marinate over 24 hours in the fridge. But today we're just gonna do the three hours that are suggested. But like I said, if you want like really good marination, just leave it in the fridge overnight and it's gonna taste amazing. It's asking for me to put it in a shallow dish. All right guys, so we have the shallow dish and we're going to place the steak in here and now we are marinating the steak. We're gonna use approximately half of the chimichurri Oh, that looks and smells fantastic. We're going to transfer this in another dish, store it in the fridge, put this in the fridge for approximately three hours, clean up, and then I'll be back with you guys to finish everything. See you then. All right, guys, it's been a couple of hours and the meat is almost ready. I'm actually really excited. So I thought I'm gonna use the rest of the time to prep everything else. So what we got here are the butter cup, uh, butter lettuce cups. For me, they're not really cups, unfortunately. They're just leaves, but yeah, we have eight of them. And by the way, it's the, the side also provides nutritional information, of course. So if you make the eight servings, each serving has 300 calories and consists out of two wraps. So yeah, this is this. <laughs> we also have a tomato because we're going to cut this tomato, slice it in cubes, and it's gonna be the topping to our lettuce cups. I gotta be honest with you guys, when I prepare them, I don't make it look as pretty as I do now, of course. But they're still good, right, when I make them? Babe? Yes, of course. Okay. They're gonna be eaten. <laughs> All right, we get this. And we pretty much have everything prepared. Mm. All right, guys. Oh my God, this smells amazing. This has been in the fridge for a hot minute, a cold minute, really. And we are ready to grill this meat. Like I said, if you don't wanna wait such a long time as we did for your meat to get ready. Just marinate it the night before and then you can just pop it in, into the pan whenever you're ready. So we have this pan and I like my meat medium, rare medium. I usually put it on medium heat for that as well. So we're heating up the pan and then we're grilling that meat and we're preparing the lettuce wraps. Also have the rest of the chimichurri that also chilled in the fridge, which we're going to use as a sauce once the steak is done. Guys, I don't know if it was a good idea to do it in the living room because we have no vent, but this steak is ready and we're not delaying any further. So, you ready? What a sizzle. Cook it approximately five to seven minutes, depending on your liking. Definitely make sure to prepare the steak to your liking. Give it like a little longer. Mm. 
All right, this should be great. And we actually give it like five minutes to rest and then we'll cut it. All right guys, here is this beautiful steak. It looks so good. And I'm going to do the honors and cut it in little strips right now so we can put it in the lettuce wraps. Like I said, first time I'm making this with steak, but would you just look at this? Oh my goodness. This looks amazing. Oops. Make sure, like I said, you cook it to your liking and also be careful when you consume raw or undercooked meat. Okay, I just have to, sorry. And that is really good. That is really good. Let's assemble this. So, I forgot to cut it in equal slices, but we'll just fill the, the lettuce cups as we please. We'll add some more of our chimichurri. That, um, we had leftovers or we're supposed to keep half, which works out perfectly right now. And then put some of our tomatoes on top. I am not good at cutting. I should have cut them way smaller. I apologize. I'm such like, I'm so bad at like cutting stuff. It's ridiculous. <laughs> And there you have it, guys. Beautiful, beautiful. This one. Oh my god! Thank you. Lettuce cups. Oh my god, that looks so fresh. It is about the taste. You want to try one, babe? But also, it's super easy. Like I said, do it the day before. You don't have to wait that long. Cheers, babe. Boom. Mm. What do you think? That's fantastic. Yeah? Yeah, that's so good. Oh, I'll have a <clears throat> Don't tell anybody. Mm. That's really good, actually. Mm -hmm. Let's get one more of these. The chimichurri sauce, is that how you say it? It's yeah. fantastic. Thank you. Mm. That was delicious. We're gonna have the rest of those now. I love when you make that stuff. You like when you when I make that? Yeah. How do you like the chimichurri better with steak or chicken? Um, I love steak. I love the taste of steak. But I like chicken as well. So I like them evenly. But the skirt steak. So anyways, there you have it guys. This is what I make for dinner. Uh, fairly often, like I said, with chicken, first time with meat. Huge thank you to my food and family for sponsoring this video and for providing me with amazing ideas like this. Became a staple. Hope you found this interesting, guys. I love you so much, and I see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>